all there. This is Wake Angel 2001 coming to you with a commission that has taken me entirely too long to fill. It's been keeping me busy for quite a bit longer than most commissions have. Um, it's for Chandler. Uh, I don't know if he has an online username because I did not get one. And he wanted a super poser size shard figure. The base figure that he sent me was a super poser Sonic. Uh, with a destroyed right arm, and um, as you can see, I already sculpted the chest a little bit, but uh, besides that, um, this figure was just not in very good shape. All of his joints were extremely floppy, and as I said, that right arm was damaged beyond repair and would need to be rebuilt from scratch. However, in order to make a shard figure out of this, I would have to extensively modify the figure. Um, first of all is the spines. The spine pattern for Shard is completely different than it is for Sonic. So that meant cutting off the spines. And Super Posers are made out of a completely different kind of plastic than the 3 inch figure. So this means literally going in there with a saw. Uh, the circular saw attachment for my Dremel tool. Of which I broke two of them while doing all the cutting. Uh, it's okay because I have a whole bunch of those. And you can see the construction and hollowness of the head. Um, oh, one problem with the, with the joint was that the head was completely loose on the neck, allowing it to spin freely like a freaking top. Uh, fortunately, a bit of hot glue around the mushroom peg provides enough friction so that the head doesn't just spin around willy-nilly. You know what this stuff is? It is called Floam. <clears throat> It is kind of a sculpting material. First came around when I was a little kid. It's produced by Nickelodeon, a cousin of their GAC products. Basically, this stuff is, um, it's just a whole bunch of little microbeads suspended in, uh, in a goopy medium, which works almost exactly like Play-Doh. Um, it is uh, easy to work with uh, for kids, and um, left to harden overnight will turn into something the weight and consistency of styrofoam. It's, um, it's pretty interesting stuff. Why do I bring it up? Because, uh, this cost me about 47 cents. And I used it as filler material to make all the internal mass for the shard figure. As you can see here, with his spines and, uh, beefed up appendages. Um, the reason I did this was, A, to save on cost. I would have had to use um, so much epoxy sculpt to make this much volume that it would have quadrupled the figure's cost. And, um, and second is to save weight. Epoxy sculpt is really heavy stuff, and had I used it, the figure would be so top heavy, he'd likely overpower the hip joints no matter how much I tighten them. But by making the um, by making those spines out of the foam and then just putting a veneer of the epoxy sculpt on top of it, as you can see here, the figure is left much less top heavy and much more cost effective. Um, don't worry, he's not necessarily fragile because I did use a thick enough layer of epoxy sculpt that you don't have to worry about it cracking. Um, but you know, this is just cool. It's um. It's a nice lightweight filler material that you can use to make big figures without making them too heavy. You um, might want to keep this in mind if you're going to be making larger figures in the future. You know, anyone who uses my videos as instruction manuals to make their own customs. Painted up, Shard is starting to really shape up. Um, the only problem now is that he is Shine Arm. Oh, and I know there are some nitpickers out there that may notice that this Shard has a left hand. When in the comic book, Shard's left hand is like a Mega Buster style cannon arm. Um, this is practical, not by choice. Remember, the right arm of this figure was destroyed. Had I had the choice, I would have made the left hand the cannon arm to be accurate to the comic, but we work with what we're given. So let's talk about building that arm, huh? Uh, this is a Mixel, uh, specifically Tentro. Um, Mixels are very popular among the custom community because they can be used to make uh, basically whatever custom Lego action figures you want. It's basically a little pouch with some bricks and a whole bunch of joint parts. Uh, this guy alone comes with four ball joints, four ratchet joints, and two, uh, three swivel joints. And even a spinning joint for, that can be used to make a waist. That's what makes his head turn around. Of course, to make this guy, I just used uh, one of his ball joints. Um, that green thing up there is a part of a Tenkai Knight figure. Uh, which is what forms the shoulder. Um, 
I cut I had to cut these Lego parts and sand them down so that they would match the length and approximate thickness of Shard's other arm and then sculpted the cannon again first out of foam and then with a veneer of soup of epoxy sculpt on top. Um the symmetry isn't quite as perfect as I would have wanted it to be, but I again I did the best with what I had to work with. Uh, so let's take a look at the completed shard superposer figure. Here he is. Aside from the uh, forearm on his right arm being slightly thicker, I think he came out really good. He's still a superposer, and um, as you can see with the turnaround, he also has the uh, little jet engine sculpted in. Uh, I used Metal Sonic as a reference, of course. I just made it shape the same, and he, as a superposer, still has all the superposer joints. Uh, he has the ankle joints, the toe joints, the finger joints, the wrist joint. The wrist swivel does still work. Um, and thanks to the new ball joints and his elbow, he also has a bicep swivel on his right arm. That's something that the original superposer didn't have. Uh, he loses all the spine articulation, but, you know, what's the point of those anyway? Uh, he still has the ear articulation, and um, he can be used to strike cool poses. Uh, it's just that no matter how much I tried to tighten them, there's still some limitations and the joints are a little bit looser than they really should be. There's just only so much I can do. Um, so standing next to the, uh, three-inch shard figure that I made a while ago, he's, uh, he's looking like shard. I think I pulled this one off. What do you guys think, huh? Alright, this is Toy Customizer, Wake Angel 2001, signing off.